Let's present the CFD simulation training package containing 10 different architectural engineering CFD projects. At first, we investigate the double facet CFD simulation considering solar radiation. The present problem simulates the airflow through the space between the two walls of the double facet of a building considering solar radiation. To move the airflow upwards in this space based on the density change caused by the pressure and temperature change, the boundary condition of the pressure equal to the atmospheric pressure at the inlet and outlet of this space has been used. The main cause of temperature change is the presence of solar energy on the plates of these shells. It is also assumed that the ambient airflow around the shells has a temperature of 300 degrees of Kelvin and a heat transfer coefficient of 10. Also, in the space between these two walls of the facet, a shutter-shaped shading is used, which helps the ventilation process in the system. The purpose of this study is to investigate the behavior of fluid flow in an upward motion and heat transfer in facet space between two shells and shading plates. Accordingly, we probe a solar chimney for a room HVAC CFD simulation. The problem simulates the HVAC or heating, ventilation and air conditioning inside a room with a solar chimney. The present model consists of two main parts, including the interior of the room and the sloping solar chimney on the ceiling of the room. The solar chimney consists of glass plates on its side surface that are in contact with the environment and as a transparent medium receive the solar energy and also have a plate on its back as a heat absorbing space. It is assumed that the absorbent surface behind the chimney has a constant temperature while the glass surface in contact with the external environment has heat transfer with its surrounding. The ambient air temperature is equal to 308 degree of Kelvin and the convection heat transfer coefficient is equal to 8. It is also assumed that the heat received from sunlight inside the chimney creates a constant heat source inside the chimney. The airflow from the inlet section at the bottom of the room has a pressure inlet boundary condition. In this way, this incoming airflow at a temperature of 308 degree of Kelvin is sucked into the room by the heat of the solar chimney and is transferred to the outside environment of the room. Consequently, we research about a single-sided ventilation CFD simulation of a room with a heater. The problem simulates the airflow inside the room considering a heater and analyzes the heat transfer inside the room using single-sided ventilation. Inside the room, an aluminium radiator is used as a heat source. Also, a window is placed on one of the lateral walls for the outlet airflow. The boundary condition of the pressure outlet with the pressure equal to the ambient pressure and the backflow air temperature equal to the room temperature is used. The purpose of this study is to investigate the airflow behavior and heat transfer in the room. Then we examine the airflow around three tall buildings CFD simulation. The problem simulates the airflow through three buildings which are arranged in a triangular shape. In fact, these buildings are considered as barriers. In the present case, the area around the three buildings is considered where the wind enters horizontally at a velocity of 5 meters per second and collides with the buildings. The purpose of this project is to investigate the behavior of wind flow around buildings after dealing with them and to study the behavior of air in the space between the buildings. Then the radiation effect on a dome-shaped building CFD simulation will be investigated. 
The present problem simulates the heat transfer inside the interior of a mask. In the present case, it is assumed that heat transfer takes place in two modes of convection and radiation. In fact, the building's indoor heating source is powered by both solar energy and the mask floor heating system. The heat transfer between the side walls of the mask, the roof of the mask, and its dome has a convection with the free airflow of the surrounding environment with a temperature of 309 degree of Kelvin and the heat transfer coefficient of 10. Radiation heat transfer is also carried out on the side walls, roof and dome of the mask due to the solar radiation and an absorption coefficient of 0.8 is assumed for the surfaces. Also, the heat source used in the floor of the mask has amount of 3 watt per meter square applies a thermal heat flux to the floor of the mask assuming a thickness of 20 cm for the floor since the main purpose of the issue is to investigate the heat transfer within the mask there is no need for inlet and outlet boundary conditions further we inspect the uhi and pollution cft simulation of an urban zone the problem simulates the carbon dioxide mass fraction change in an urban zone. To simulate this model, a 0.1 meter high area is considered as a source of carbon dioxide pollutants on the street. In fact, the main purpose of the current simulation is to investigate the effect of free airflow on the amount of CO2 produced by a car exhaust. Therefore, an integrated carbon dioxide production area is defined as a source of mass production on a city street. Free airflow enters the area of an urban environment at a velocity of 0.2 meter per second and a temperature of 300 degree of Kelvin. Beside, we inquire into HVAC CFD simulation of an office meeting room. The present study simulates the performance of fan-driven airflow inside an office for HVAC operation, including a computer and four lamps. The computer is made of plastic and is considered as a heat source equivalent to 700 watts and uh, the lamp material is glass with a heat source equal to 2500 watts. On the upper part of two walls of the office, we installed two fans to transfer airflow into the office. We also assume that the doors and windows of the office have convection heat transfer by ambient air. The problem goal is to investigate the effect of blown airflow on the components and people in the office. Therefore, we we'll look into an external flow around an atrium CFD simulation. The present problem simulates the airflow through an atrium. In the present study, the area around the atrium is considered to be that the airflow enters it horizontally at a rate of 8 meter per second at a pressure of atmospheric pressure and hits the walls of the atrium. The aim of this study is to investigate the behavior of airflow around the walls of the atrium building after colliding with them and to investigate the distribution of pressure and velocity of the flow around the atrium building. Also, we go into an internal flow inside an atrium CFD simulation. This problem simulates the internal airflow inside an atrium located in a complex. Atrium works with two natural phenomena including the greenhouse effect and the chimney effect. In the present case, the cylindrical area called the atrium in the central part of a complex is considered, so that the airflow at the velocity of 2 meter per second and the pressure of atmospheric pressure enters the complex from the lower entrance and enters the interior space of the atrium building from the upper entrance. The purpose of this project is to investigate the behavior of airflow and also study the pressure and velocity distribution of the internal flow inside the atrium building. 
Finally, we explore a wind catcher CFD simulation. The problem simulates the airflow and ventilation inside a wind catcher. The wind catcher is octagonal and has a relatively simple structure. The wind catcher consists of a column for pulling the exterior air or sucking up the air inside room space for air circulation inside it and a wall for the space around the wind catcher building and also this wind catcher uh, is located in a large space of open airflow domain. The wind is moving horizontally at a speed of 10 meters per second towards the wind catcher building. Also, the model pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure and the purpose of this project is to investigate the flow of air entering the wind catcher building and the inside airflow and also the ventilation phenomena. CFD training packages using ANSYS Fluence software is one of the numerous master CFD services. You can enjoy these CFD training packages in every desired field you can imagine. After getting master CFD training packages include all simulation files and comprehensive training movies, we also deliver free two weeks expert support. So just order your favorite package and enjoy the incredible price and the quality. These are the CFD training packages that are produced by Master CFD. You can order all these packages and receive it as soon as possible. To ensure the Master CFD training package quality, visit our channel on YouTube. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at sign Hope you enjoy.